Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Akabane101 here with another video on Receiver. Since a lot of you guys really enjoyed Receiver and when you watched my first impression video, um, you guys quite enjoyed it, I figured I should do a follow-up video showing some of the cool things and cool tips that you guys can use while you're playing the game and hopefully win. Now, I haven't actually won a game yet, um, but I have been fiddling around with this gun here, the Colt 1911A1 pistol. Um, I've been fiddling around with it and learned that there is some uh, good ways to check if there is uh, ammo inside of the uh, in inside of the chamber, uh, as well as there is a way to quick reload. And I only found that out by actually listening to one of the tapes, which was kind of neat. So the game actually gives you pointers on how to um, use your weapons in the game. So if you haven't actually heard any of those tapes, um, well, this is going to be one of those tutorials. But it's actually going to be a full-on tutorial. Um, so anyone that hasn't played the game before, you don't need to watch my uh, first impressions video. For I was kind of lacking the own, my own skill, considering it was a first impression video. I've only played it like once or twice. Um, so I've been practicing around with this, and you guys will be able to use this as a tutorial. Um, so when you load into the game, it's a completely random area, like I've said before. And you only start with this gun. You always get this gun, and hopefully at least uh, one magazine. Well, you'll definitely get one magazine. And keep in mind that these, right here, are magazines, they're not clips. Uh, I said that a lot in the last video, that they were clips. Uh, I'm completely wrong. Apparently, um, uh, thanks to a user that actually messaged me about this in the comments on that video, um, clips actually weren't used um, ever after World War II. The last guns to use clips are the ones back in World War II. And I know that gets on some people's nerves if uh, they use guns quite a bit. Um, and it's very understandable, of course, because uh, some that lacks, you know, the knowledge of what is a magazine or a clip. Um, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. Just keep in mind that these are magazines, and I will probably say clip once or, or twice during this because it's like a little bit easier to say. Um, but yeah, they're all magazines. Anyway, as I drop that on the ground. Um, so yes, so when you start in the game, you're going to be getting at least uh, one or two magazines. If you need to restart a game, um, all you have to do is press the L key. Uh, the screen will actually fade to black um, until it fades completely to black and it will just reload your game as if you died, which is extremely good. So um, for this sake of the tutorial, just keep pressing L until you load up the game with at least two magazines. You'll always get one in the, in the gun itself. And you hopefully get one right here, um, which is uh, at your um, number button pressing area. Um, and to bring up the magazine here, all I have to do is just press the number corresponding to uh, what it is. So I'm pressing 1, putting it into 1, pressing 1, pressing 2 uh, to put it into 2, press 2 to bring it back up, put it 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7. So you have 7 uh, slots for the magazines to go into. Now I don't know if you find more magazines later on. I'm expecting that you would, uh, considering um, you know, sometimes you start with one magazine and it's a little bit of a pain when you have to uh, reload because you have to put the ammo back into the magazine. So we'll just put that magazine into slot number one. Now how do you get your ammo out of your gun? Well simply all you have to do is press the E key and there you go. You have now uh, successfully slid out the magazine that was in your pistol. And we'll just put that into slot number two for now. Now, some of you may have your gun in a non-safety mode or in a safety mode, so simply press V. This means you're in safety when the gun's off to the side. This means you're in kill mode. You are in non-safety. The safety is off. Um, you want to be in this mode because it's actually going to be easier to see uh, what we're about to do next. So make sure you press a V on the keyboard and you are like this. Now, if you don't see your gun in front of you, you can hold the uh, right mouse button down or you can press Q. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to press Q. It might be easier for you guys as well. Um, but it is recommended that you guys actually learn to um, press the right mouse button down because it's a little bit more um, accurate if you're holding down the right mouse button to aim. Um, and you can see a lot better when you don't have the gun in front of your screen. But it's all preference. Um, but it, it's probably better to learn how to play the game like this. So you can go up to the corner and then bam, you know? Just something like that when you're aiming around. Um, but anyway, how can we tell if there's a bullet in our chamber? Um, now, I didn't realize this until after the first impressions video that this is how you do it. Okay, so press T, hold it down, and now hold the R key, or just press it. Alright, so when you just press the R key, you can let go of the T key now, 
You can see at the top of your gun, there is a bullet in the chamber. If you see just darkness at the top of the chamber, that will mean that there is nothing at the top of your chamber and you don't have to worry um, about having a bullet in your chamber. In this case, we do. So how do you get that out of there for the case of uh, having to completely freshly reload your gun? Um, so you don't want to do a tactical reload. A tactical reload would be one that already has a bullet in the chamber um, and you're just going to tactically reload um, a new clip. Even if your current clip, or sorry, your current magazine doesn't have all of the, uh, you know, ammunition that you currently have. So, how do you get this bullet out? All you have to do now, or if you want, you can press T to bring this back into the normal kill mode. Um, all you have to do now is just press R. And as you can see, the bullet launched out. Um, typically, it will launch out to the ground next to you. It could have flown away over there, but luckily it didn't. Um, and all you have to do to pick it up is G. This is how you pick up everything in the game. And there you go, went to the uh, bullets on the top left of the screen there. Um, so now we have nothing in our gun. How can you check that? Same way. Press T and R, and you'll see at the top of the gun it is blank. And if we try and fire, there is nothing in the gun as well. Now if you fire and your gun locks up like that, just simply press F on your keyboard and it'll bring that back. Simple as that. Also if it's locked up, you can press the R key and it will uh, cock the gun back. You can also put your gun like this and just leave it like this for now. Um, this is also a good way to reload your gun because it will automatically put the, uh, the first bullet in your magazine at the top of the clip. So let me just show you guys that right now. Um, so to bring up your magazine, you just press 2 or 1, whichever one you guys put the, uh, the number in. Oh, that was my bad. <laughs> uh, if you press the number twice, you'll actually, uh, reload the gun that way. Um, but as you can see, there should be a bullet now on the top of the gun. Um, let me show you guys that there. As you can see, there's a bullet in the gun, and it fell somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. There it is. Um, but... If you don't want to press the number twice, like so, let me just take out that, put it back, oh, put it back into the number. If you don't want to do that, all you have to do is press Z when your gun, when your magazine is like this. Press E to take it out, Z to put it in. E, Z, E. All right, there you go. I'm pretty sure you guys get the picture. All right, so we don't want anything to be in here, in the gun. And we don't want anything to be in our magazines, so I'll show you guys how to load and unload your magazines. So if we press 1 here, uh, we can't really do anything except for load our gun and take the gun, uh, or and take the magazine out. So what we got to do is we got to holster our gun. So press the tilde key, which is above your tab key. Uh, I'm pretty sure European people might have it differently on their keyboards. I've heard that European people have a different spot for their tilde. Um, not entirely sure, though, entirely, but... Whatever. Um, yeah, but anyway, press your tilde key, which should be above your tab key, and simply to load the gun, or to load the magazine, all you have to do is press Z. Now to unload the magazine, you press R. And what you want to do is empty both of your magazines here, for practice here. As you can see, both of our magazines are empty. And to re-equip your gun, just press 1, and there we go. As you can see, we have our gun completely empty, doesn't have anything in it. So this is how we're, I'm going to teach you guys how to quickly reload your gun. And it's going to be extremely helpful when you are in the middle of a firefight. So, for instance, put your first magazine into your gun, because typically you're going to have a uh, magazine in your gun. And put your um, hopefully loaded magazine in slot number one. So you're going to be in the combat, right? You're going to be in combat, you're going to be firing constantly at something. Um, there's going to be a situation where you're going to need to reload tactically um, as, say, one of those drones are flying at you. This is what you need to do when you are reloading. So keep in mind that dropping your magazine is faster than putting it away into your pocket and then putting in another magazine. For instance, this is what, you, uh, this is what I used to do when I was reloading my gun. I would take out the clip, I would put it into a slot, I would grab another clip, and I would put it into my gun. I pressed way too many buttons there, and it just takes way too long to remember it when you're in the middle of combat. So we gotta figure out an easy way to remember, uh, something that can easily be ingrained into your brain, on how to reload your gun tactically um, during a firefight. 
So this is what you have to do. Again, make sure you have one magazine in your gun and one magazine that's hopefully loaded. In this case, we don't need it loaded because we're just practicing in slot number one. So you're firing. All you have to do is drop your first magazine. So to drop your magazine on the ground, it's E. So let's take let's take this slowly. When we press E, we pull the gun, uh, we pull the magazine out of the gun, and we press E again, the magazine's on the ground. We press one, and then one again. You have to press it quickly though, um, or else it just won't work. And then there you go. That was two button presses. That was E E one one. And to pick up the item on the ground and to put it in your inventory without having to do anything, you just press G twice. Uh, well, sometimes it works. <laughs> um, so let's try that again. So you press E E one one, and then you grab your magazine when you're done firing. And the best way to try it is when you see this thing lock up. This is actually a big Q right here. When you see this thing lock up. That's very important because that means you know, okay, I got to drop this, put this in. All right, so let's try it one more time. So unlock your gun by pressing F and then fire a few times. I'm just doing this by pressing F every time it locks up. And when you see this cue, when you see this happen, when you see the locking happen, drop your first magazine and then put in the other one. Remember, EE11, -E it's very simple. All right, so let's try. All right, we're gonna fire in three, two, one. So three, two, one. Fire E E, one one. Then pick it up with G. Again. Fire E E one one. Fire E E one one G. There you go. So that's how you do it, and that's how you reload very quickly. It's actually extremely useful um, that you'll find, and it's extremely fast to reload. So yeah, I hope that really helps you guys out when you're playing um, your receiver game, because receiver is awesome. Uh, and another thing I didn't mention, if you actually have overgrowth uh, pre-ordered, you can actually uh, get this game for free. So if you're interested in a game called Overgrowth, I haven't heard anything about Overgrowth, unfortunately, so I couldn't give you any input on it. Um, you can actually get this game for free, though, for free though if you do pre-order Overgrowth. Um, but other than that, that's actually pretty much everything. Um, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, <clears throat> and remember, if you want to load your magazines with bullets, I already mentioned this, um, but it's kind of important. Um, all you have to do is holster your gun with tilde and press the R key to, or sorry, the Z key to reload your gun, R key to unload it. So you guys will be able to practice that. Hopefully it'll work out nicely for you guys and you'll be able to adventure in um, this mode here. And keep in mind, I haven't perfected this yet. But hopefully it'll work out and just nicely for me um, later on as we start to hunt more and more excuse me, of these awesome robots. Um, last thing though, there is a sprint ability, which I had no idea about until now. Um, if you repeatedly press the forward key, which is the W key on your keyboard, um, you will be able to sprint. So if I tap W... I'll actually be sprinting down the stairs. Ah, there you go. And now we're at the bottom. It's actually a lot faster to run around this way, um, but it, it can be very risk-reward considering um, you're running away very quickly and you're going to need to be able to calculate the area. Um, another thing to note. Oh, hey, it's one of the cassette tapes. All right, let's pick one of those up and I'll let you guys listen to that. You use technology to control physical things. Similarly, there is MindTech, which is used to control the boundless luminescence. MindTech can be used for good or evil. The threat has been using its MindTech as a weapon against you, and so far has caused widespread sickness and mental weakness. Now that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow, mind kill. But they are aware that will not work on you. They have another potent weapon they will bring to bear against receivers, called the Dreaming. They cannot exist fully in this reality, but they have been watching you and experimenting and have developed this new mind tech. The Dreaming is a bridge from our world to yours, and they will use this bridge to send specially conceived of weapons designed to work in your environment. These automatic weapons are designed to kill the few who survive.
one of the tapes in the game as you can see very dark very eerie we are one of the few receivers i guess we could say um that are still alive in the human race um apparently though um i guess the human race doesn't really exist anymore in this story but i'm not entirely sure or maybe it hasn't existed yet but i'm not entirely sure it's still a very interesting story i haven't found all the you know all the cassette tapes but it's still very awesome I'm really enjoying it right now. And I really actually want to beat the game. Um, it's actually a really big challenge to actually just do that. It's a pretty big feat. Um, but I think I can do it. I hope I can do it. And I may do another uh, video on this of maybe me trying to do the whole thing. Um, and if I just lose, I'll just cut out the parts of me losing. Um, and then like on the playthrough that actually works, I'll just show that one off. Because uh, why not, right? But this game is uh, extremely difficult. Doesn't sound good. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you have to aim for the cameras. It's actually the your best bet because you always know that you're gonna uh, stop the the turrets from actually being able to do anything if you shoot their turret. Keep in mind that they are very annoying turrets. Turret, and that happens. <laughs> I was just about to press the fire button, and of course it kills me. Of course. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Akabane101. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very informative. Remember, practice your reloading. And if you need to, remember the L key allows you to respawn. And hey, there's already another cassette tape. So let's just, you know, reap the benefits of that, huh? A receiver is said to be awake when he is able to get a completely clear signal, free of any subconscious corruption. In this state, he will be able to see realities in their true form and transcend normal human limitations. Although some of the receivers we choose to speak through are advanced in their ability, no human has yet achieved this awakened state. Humans exist in two worlds. In reality B, they live and work in their shadow bodies. In reality A, they are asleep, their minds unconcerned and roaming free. But humans have the unrealized potential to exist fully in both realities. It is this reason why humans are threatened. If even one of them achieved an awakened state, they would see beyond the horizon of all known understanding. Okay. So some more awesome cassette stuff. I think I've heard that one once, but it's still really interesting to hear more of it. Okay, let's try and take this guy down. Hitting the camera. It's a little bit hard of a feat, of course. Oh, there's one dude like right there. Gotta aim for the camera. Gotta aim for the camera. That worked. They, gen they tend to like spin out of control though. Damn, dude. These things are jerks. Run for it. Repeatedly pass, press W to run for it. This one's probably gonna get me, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this video's been going on for a little bit too long, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Again, I'm Akabane101. You can like and favorite this video, or uh, send it to your friends if you want, um, on people that should definitely be checking out Receiver, because it's a very awesome game. The gun mechanics are just perfect for anyone that loves guns. Um, or does anyone that wants to play with a gun that hasn't really had the chance to in real life, uh, such as myself. So I will talk to you guys next time. Have a good one.